gets forgotten. What you been doing? And forgiveness. Acting like a fool. Mostly that's God. How so? For the rest of <sighs> Hurting and just robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> yeah, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. Bill. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It's finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. What the hell are you dressed in? What's wrong, Mr. Pearson? Nothing. Hello, gentlemen. Hey. Well, then why do you look like a beaten dog? Because... I don't know, it's hard to say. The mud? The swamp? You know, I once saw a cave from a 40-foot well. I once crossed the Swamp. Waiting to get shot yep. for riding with outlaws. Well, I never took you for the self-pitying. Or damn sense stick here in this state for the federal government. He's gone. <sighs> Thank you, stranger. These raiders are insane. Get out of here before more of them show up.
I guess I'll settle down. According to the great teachings of our master, this land Look out. is our Pardon heaven, me. and the two oceans are our shells. It is only here that we can truly be ourselves, where man can... Oh, my heavens! Ah. Gosh darn it! Hey, folks. Don't you dare tell me you bought that outfit in France. Good morning, sir. You can do better than that. Hello. Hello, yeah. Come on, girl. What the hell is your problem? Hello, officer. Hello, ma'am. dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. A very good choice, sir. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The heavy bra... Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards... ...and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you. in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! Smarten up, my dear hick friend here. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. 
Not if they're gonna let him play big at the tables tonight. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the box. I've arranged some transportation for us. Hope you have a successful evening, gentlemen. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. Brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me. No shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. Saint Hamlet. So, who's a mark? Are you all right by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen! How wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, gentlemen. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Champagne! All around! I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time! The tables await! I'll go find myself a change of clothes. <sighs> okay. You seem unsure. Robin ahead of self doubting me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time! But don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me! Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? Take a seat, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not... Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hello, my ladies. Well. 
Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Time to put your money. You're just getting all the cards tonight, ain't you? Call. I'll check. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Like I said, Mr. Callahan, cowards. Interesting. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. All right, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there was some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe, upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I just... Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Pair cage. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! N no offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, um, uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash you... these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you well, can't have everything. 
Indeed. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe, let's get out of here. I can't believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand, plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here, come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Quick as you can, sir. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. Where exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. No, sir, my friend is oh, not a noble cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. I am. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is. Shoot that man. <laughs> Bring my gun. Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. 
Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here.